baseball with Bruce Johnson and back with a little more postseason baseball as well. It's a fun time of year. Oh, it's the best time of year. There's no question about that. But, Joel, before we go there, I want to hit on one thing. Saturday I had the privilege of doing the Central Catholic Cardinal Stritch baseball game. And Mike McGee, their head baseball coach at Cardinal Stritch in his sixth season in 2020, was diagnosed with tongue cancer. Even though Mike had never smoked or chewed tobacco, he got that diagnosis. And along with his beautiful wife, Jolene, they made a decision. They went to the Cleveland Clinic. 35 separate trips to the Cleveland Clinic on August 3rd of 2020, Mike was diagnosed cancer free. And this is a gentleman that spent 31 years on the Toledo Police Force, rate rising as high as detective. He'd been shot at, he had been stabbed, but nothing scared him until the day he got the cancer diagnosis. He's got everything in perspective, and Mike, a shout out from everybody in the Northwest Ohio baseball community. You're a class act, and definitely we're glad you're still around, and hopefully you stay there a long time at Cardinal Stritch. Yeah, we spend so much time talking about results, but really that's the perspective right there, that this game can introduce you to some of the best people. And there's no question about that, Joel. And the thing about Mike that stands out is the fact he never took the easy way out. He was at every practice. And I'll tell you, the Cardinal Stritch Cardinals have a district semifinal game tomorrow, and they play baseball like their head coach. They play it tough, they play it clean, and they play it fair. All right, before we get into any brackets here, we always talk about some of the best people this game has to offer in our area. We've got some of the best pitchers anywhere, too, don't we? Another oh. pair of no-hitters. Yeah, last week we had a pair of no-hitters. Corey Vile out of Whitmer continues to shine on the mound. He no-hit the Fremont Ross Little Giants. Not to be outdone, Braden Curry from Anthony Wayne said, hey, not so fast, my friend. He went out the next day and threw a no-hitter against the Springfield Blue Devils. Two great arms in Northwest Ohio, and both of them have very bright future. And sometimes that's what it takes when you get to this time of year. Let's yep. start with Division Two. What do you see here that catches your eye? Well, the Division Two district is going to be a nightmare for those four teams. Napoleon is one of the hottest teams in the area. I think they'll have enough to get by Brian. I think Defiance is going to have enough to get by you guys, which would set up a Napoleon and Defiance match to win the district, and I think that would just be a classic baseball game but I gotta like Defiance in that particular bracket. And as we move down to Division One in Bowling Green, two teams will advance out of here, but in the one side of the bracket, you got Clay versus Savannah Southview. Perrysburg and Ashland's a very interesting matchup. I like the Perrysburg Yellow Jackets there. And Dave Hall, I'm sorry, but I think Clay's gonna come out of there. In the other side of it, I think Northview will advance past Whitmer. And I think Anthony Wayne will be strong enough to get by St. Francis, and that'll set up a dynamic showdown. Northview and Anthony Wayne, I've got to go with Northview in that particular game. Two great teams, anything can happen. So those pages are what matter the most, but Correct. if you've been keeping track, your top 10's been pretty accurate this year. You know, I'm proud to say every one of my top 10 teams still remain. And the Clay Eagles have been my number one all year, and they continue to mow along. But I'll say this, in that Bowling Green bracket, any one of those top four teams could come out. Anyone can win. That's why you got to keep it here to Sports Nightly each night of the week. We're going to have you covered. Bruce, thank you so much. Joel, thanks a lot.